Hey, this is David B69. Welcome to today's video. Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well, and hit the notification bell for future videos. Let's get on to the show. Hey everybody, this is David B69. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Um I got three packages in the mail. I was only expecting two, so I'm a little confused on the one. I am expecting a third package, but problem is, maybe it's just overly wrapped and I'm wrong about it. So let's open this one first. I'm hoping I'm completely wrong about this, because the name, looked very familiar from another purchase that I made and I'm hoping he didn't like accidentally ship me something twice because then I would feel bad and there's nothing like feeling bad about somebody sending you something twice especially when I didn't ask for anything twice if I complain about something that's one thing I never tell you I hate these uh, USPS envelopes. Especially since my knife disappeared. My knife disappeared around Christmas time. Haven't seen it since. No idea where my knife went. Okay, so what they did, and I, I respect it. Um, in order to, basically I ordered a reorder on a manual and, um, with WrestleMania 18. Now it turns out that I actually have this manual. Um, so I'm going to check it off against the manual that I have, um, and see which one's in better shape. Um, I think they're about the same, but this is nice because I got an extra play PlayStation 2 case. So now if I need another PlayStation 2 case, if one of my other PlayStation 2 cases is cracked or whatever, I have another case. So it's a win-win. Um, so, and I'll wind up flipping that manual at some point, whichever one's bad. Next one is from Luki. Now, every... And I mean, every single one of these games is one of the cheapest games you can ever buy. You ask yourself, why would you get a bunch of cheap games? Well, they're not in my collection. And I kind of wanted them. Not the cool bubble wrap. As you can see, they are Xbox 360 games. We're starting with NBA 2K14. Assassin's Creed 3. Here is NHL 2K6. We've never played the 2K series of the NHL franchise. It's actually really good. Um, here is NHL 2K9. Here is Darksiders 2. It's like limited edition. And it's complete, so that's cool. I was feeling the weight of it and it didn't feel complete. Then we got Lost Planet Extreme Conditions. I've never actually played the Lost Planet series. Um, my nephew was a big, big, big Lost Planet fan. Um, and I've always wanted to get into it so figured why not sink my teeth into that one then we got NBA Live 09 then we got NHL 2K8 so another 2K NHL game which I think I have all the regular NHL games on the on the 360 and then we got Fallout 3 so yeah, let me know what your favorite of this bunch is, of the 360 bunch. Um, I love the Fallout 3 series. I think I have it still on the PS3. 
um, but I didn't have it on the 360 and I kind of like really, really wanted it. And it was like the sale, I mean, averaged out each one of these games was under $3 a piece. And when you can get a whole series of games like this for under $3 overall a piece, I think it's worth it. So, and this next one is from Retro Raven Games. And you know how much I love the Retro Raven games. This will include game number 200 in my collection. So I've been very hyped up about this. And if you wonder about Video Games Monthly, I have a series of games that are like over $40, $50 on the, on the Super Nintendo. So basically what I did was I took them off the list for Video Games Monthly. It's just the easiest thing you can do. Um, and so I don't have to send them a spreadsheet every month for right now. So to me, it made it worth it to do that. I'll eventually, I'll eventually basically send them a list and start doing that on a monthly basis. But this avoids that problem. They basically put it in a nice nice amount of bubble wrap which you really all gotta love <sighs> sorry this stuff that I go through and everything it's really hard and everything I get like really tired for no particular reason but I digress First game is I blame drinking games with Josh because him and Game Raymer went out and uh, they had split second. And I'm like, I have to have split second again. I had it a long time ago. I still thought I had it in part of my collection. I looked down here, I didn't see it. So if it turns out that I have it and it's a duplicate, then it's fine. And I just basically resell it at some point. Um, but I really, really wanted this back again. Um, because this is like an extremely fun game. Um, and game number 200 on my Super Nintendo is... Drum roll. Wee! It is... Da -da 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 -dum. Inspector Gadget. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Now, the cart is crap. Now, it basically, it basically said, this is a, it's like, what's it called? This is a cosmetically flawed edition. Now, maybe, maybe I could pull some tricks off and get some of this stuff off. Um, because you can tell that the label's there. It's just a matter of... It's a matter of how I can get that off. So I'm trying to figure out how I can do that. Um, it's like I might be able to lift that off somehow. But yeah, very excited to have Inspector Gadget. It's game number 200. Like I said, I'll try to do what I can to clean the label off. Um, if you have any tips or tricks, send them to me. Um, but yeah. So excited to have 200 Super Nintendo games. That's absolutely amazing. Um, so I'm super stoked about that. Uh, leave your comments down below on what you think is the best that I got for today's pickups. Um, and until next time, this is David B 69 Have a great day. Peace. Out. Just as a quick update, um, with a little water... And some soft scrubbing. I went from a label that was completely white and over the label to this. Um, it's not perfect yet. But with you can see that with a little bit of extra work and time, you can clean these things up and everything and make a cosmetically flawed label into a good label. Just takes a little bit of effort. I even got a little bit to the point where... You can see the words Inspector Gadget on the end part of the label. 
which is like really, really cool. Like I said, just needs extra time, love, and scrubbing. Just throwing that out there. Um, and all I did was use a little bit of water and the coarseness of my fingers and stuff and just slightly rubbing into it. Not too much work, not too much effort. I think I spent, I don't know, maybe five, ten minutes on this and I got it made the label reappear. Um, so quite happy with this. Um, now it's like my cosmetically flawed is not really that bad right now. Like I said, I'll finish this off and everything sometime and, uh, it should look like a beautiful cart, but, uh, yeah, very happy with inspector gadget number 200. See you guys. Peace out.